What's up YouTube? I'm Z and this channel shows you the world through my lens. Uh, continuing down the recommendations, I, I took a break for a couple videos from uh, the Nikki and the uh, Youngboy reactions because um, I had some other requests of other artists so I want to make sure I'm doing those as well. Uh, but I'm going to come back to Nikki because I feel like all the requests that I've done so far, um, I didn't go in the direction that I kind of wanted to go. Uh, and so I had some recommendations that were a little bit closer to that. So I wanted to see a little bit more of the vulnerable side. Um, and I got recommended a bunch of songs. One of those songs was uh, I Lied from her album Pink Print, I think it's called. Uh, never heard the song. So don't really know what it's going to sound like, uh, but they but in the comments it did say that this is kind of like a more vulnerable side of her. Um, so I'm excited to check this out. I don't think I've ever seen a vulnerable or heard a vulnerable song from her yet. I've just kind of heard more of like the popular, um, you know, mainstream and then the rapping songs and especially the stuff that you guys have recommended so far. That's kind of what I know. So uh, let's check this out. I want to get straight into it. I got a lot of stuff to uh, record tonight, so I don't want to waste too much time. Here we go. I got my lyrics here just in case I need it. different. Hold on. I know somebody said this in the comments. Uh, I didn't know she could sing. Like, she's like singing, singing, and it doesn't sound like, that's why I was trying to listen very carefully. It doesn't sound like there's a lot of alteration on her voice. Like, there's always going to be some, right? Like, there's very few uh, polished studio recorded songs that are going to come out where the voices are completely untouched. But it doesn't sound like it's being altered to like make her a better singer. Um, wow. I didn't know she could do that. I also have to say uh, this sounds really good. And uh, I don't know what the rest of it's going to be like, but those first couple lines, I felt those. Keep you from breaking my heart. to protect me you gotta sweat me you said you thought you was ready and i said let's see but i ain't mean that i need some need some proof because what happens if i fall in love then you cut me loose you just a heartbreaker won't let you break mine because i'll be smashing windows and cutting them break lines i like that um Sorry, I don't want to stop too much. I gotta try and make sure I keep going. Uh, I like that because it was kind of like a very subtle, scary moment. She's just she's singing in a way that just sounds so sweet and pleasing, and like it's like down here, it's down here, and then she kind of stays down here. And I know that part was rapping, but I just mean like it kind of stays down here. Um, but then the words when they switch, when she says. Um, after she says, I won't let you break mine. Uh, and it just kind of shows that like, I can go there. Like I have the crazy, I have the crazy side too. We all have the crazy side. Um, 
I really like that. she's singing those last two words or those last two lines I lied um, y you can hear like she's singing very clearly in the previous lines with a powerful voice that's what kind of getting my attention that she can do that but she's singing with a powerful voice and there's it's it's steady powerful but then when she sings I lied she comes right back down here and she's purposefully singing in a more vulnerable level uh, and if you listen you can hear kind of shakiness in the lied right when she says I lied there's a little bit of shakiness in that and that is uh, that's a masterful delivery of that because when your delivery can match the intent of the words or the intent behind the words it it creates an experience it's not just some it's not just people watching or like observing like they're now brought into the experience they're feeling that um I thought eventually you would let me go that was my insecurities and my ego miss my jump shot miss my free throw miss the way we kiss Mr. T yo Man, it was good while it lasted That shit wasn't real, it was magic If it was a record, it would've been classic But fuck you though, orgasmic I guess is what I gotta do to keep me from falling Stalling the truth Who knew what you would do if I let you in My mama ain't raised no fool I'm sorry I'm stopping so much. I, I can't help it because there's stuff that's just kind of pulling me. Uh, and I feel like if I try to wait to the end, I'm going to forget. Um Who would protect me if I never hide? That, I've said this in a few videos. I don't know if I said it in a Nikki video or a Young Boy video. I'm just doing so many of them. I'm not sure which one I said it in. But listen, I, I think I said something to the effect of nobody's going to look out for you the way that you need to look out for you. Unfortunately, this is the world that we live in. People are very me-centric. Like, I, I got to look out for me. I got to put me as number one. And because everybody thinks that way, no one's going to look out for you. Uh, and, and in these situations, like especially when we're talking about feelings and like um, becoming vulnerable and, and giving your heart to somebody, uh, it's a very scary situation anyways. But unfortunately, like think about how many times you've seen the story or maybe you've experienced the story that one person knew that they wanted to end a relationship. They didn't want to hurt the person's feelings, so they kind of let things drag on. They kind of do the bare minimum to keep moving, and like six months go by, and now they've spent the last six months just solidifying in their head that, yeah, this relationship needs to end. It's like he, they're gaining closure versus the other person who has no clue. They're kind of going on. They're like, yeah, our relationship's fine. Like, And then all of a sudden, you have people that are in two completely different places, right? Um, and this is the thing. If I don't hide myself, if I don't keep myself away from from that potential, who's going to protect me? Um, that just that really pulled me. I just wanted to make sure I talked about that one. 
I love that. Um, that might be my favorite song I've heard from her. I love the bars. I love the wordplay. I love all of that stuff. But I think that the the truest power in music is not just your wittiness, your display of intelligence, your ability, your all of these things that are crazy. They're awesome. They attract a lot of people. But this part where, where somebody can hear the way you sound and the words that you're singing and it touches a moment in their life it touches something that they've been through that to me is the power in music and I talked about this in some of my young boy reactions where he was kind of going more into his deeper cuts like music saved my life there were songs the right songs that came out at the right time at a difficult time in my life that that got me through and it's that connection. It wasn't somebody showing me crazy wordplay. It wasn't somebody playing with how they're rhyming and how many syllables and delivering this way. And I love that stuff. Don't get me wrong, but this stuff. Wow. And I love that last line because it's so true. The uh, You'll stay in my heart. Uh, you'll stay in my heart forever. Um, because when you do allow, when you do open up and you allow people in, that sticks with you. It doesn't matter if you're like, oh, it's in the past. Oh, that person was a B. That person sucked. That person was a jerk. It doesn't matter. If you actually opened up and let them in, they're a part of you forever. It's just how it is. You're not going to forget them. You could say whatever you want, but you're not going to. Wow. Uh, sorry, I went on a little bit of a rant at the end there, but I really enjoyed that. That was an amazing recommendation. Um, I saw there was another one that was that was listed in the comment where it said, oh, her more vulnerable tracks. Uh, let me know more stuff like this. That was awesome. Uh, if you guys are still here, I really appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you next time.